Hey everyone, it's Fox from Inferno Fox Gaming. Joining me here are some fantastic YouTube content creators to answer the question, what is the most shocking plot twist you experienced in an RPG? I'll make sure to provide links to each of these content creators in the description below, so make sure you check them out and subscribe while you're there. Based on the topic, obviously there's going to be a spoiler warning in effect for the entirety of the video here, as well as in the comments section below. I'm going to list out the times of each of the content creators and their respective entries if you'd like to avoid spoilers for a game that you haven't played. Do note that none of these titles are less than a year old as of the release of this video, as we wanted to ensure viewers aren't getting a newer game spoiled on them. But enough talk, let's get the show on the road. We're talking about plot twists in JRPGs. Hi there everybody, I am David Vink, and oh my god, spoilers! I cannot wait to tell you all about Arcrise Fantasia, one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Wii. So at the beginning of the game, you play as Lark, and he runs into this girl named Riffia, and she doesn't really know what is going on. Apparently, she's a diva of a god imaginal, who's the god of, like, creation and life and everything good and light and fun. And then they go into town, and they meet Lark's best friend, Elf who is the crown prince. And Elf joins up with Lark on his little journey of world regeneration and saving the world and helping out Riffia and all that kind of stuff. And Adele tags along too. And Adele loves Lark. But also Elf is in love with Adele. But Adele doesn't really like Elf, even though he is the, uh, the crown prince, for God's sakes, who wouldn't like him and he's super cute. But anyway, as the game goes on, they all travel together, they're having a grand old time, until the shit hits the fan, and Adele betrays you, and she wants to kill you. She becomes a bitch on wheels. She literally wants to murder you. And she tells um, her little boy toy, Elf, to kill Lark. She always tells him that. The party splits up. They were one and the same. They were together. They split up and now they have become complete and total enemies and you'll be going to be fighting them over and over and over throughout the course of the game until you eventually kill them. You slaughter them. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, this, like, the shit hits the fan in this game. You think that, like, oh, I got my party all set together halfway through the game, okay, halfway through the game, boom, party splits, they are enemies, and they hate each other, and it is so good, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, and Adele really encapsulates that entire thing, and I just love Arcrise Fantasia because of it, the story is top notch, thank you so much for having me on to just gush a little bit about this underrated gem of a game that gets way too much hate because of voice acting, but you know what? It's so bad, it's good. I love it. Hey, it's Feral Inferno, and we're back with another collaboration with Inferno Fox Gaming. Fox asked me, hey, Feral, what's a really big plot twist in an RPG? And I thought about it, and I was like, I gotta go with the craziest plot twist of any RPG. And that, of course, is in Chrono Cross when Surge and Lynx swap bodies. You swap bodies, the hero and the villain swap bodies. What? Surge and his crew pursue Lynx to Fort Dragonia. It's here that Lynx betrays General Viper by literally stabbing him in the back after Viper was defeated by Surge and his crew. Lynx then enacts his plan to swap bodies with Surge to gain access to Chronopolis. Surge goes through quite the violent reaction, swapping bodies with Lynx. But once Lynx emerges as Surge, nobody knows but Lynx and Surge that this act has occurred. With Surge inhabiting a sorely beaten Lynx body, Surge's crew, along with Lynx and Surge's body, make quick work of Surge in his newly acquired weakened state. 
But the plot twist and betrayal is not complete until Lynx jabs a knife into Kid's stomach, leaving her for dead. In a matter of minutes, we lose both main characters that we traveled through the game with in nearly an instant. For players that didn't see this one coming, it was quite a jarring incident. Thank you so much to Inferno Fox for having me on this collaboration. Had a lot of fun talking about Chrono Cross, a game that I really haven't talked a whole lot about on the channel. So it was really cool to have an opportunity to talk about Chrono Cross, but I have one more plot twist for you, folks. Chrono Cross isn't really the true spiritual successor to Chrono Trigger. Oh no, that is actually Radiant Historia. What? everybody, it's Femme Trooper, and thanks, Glenn, for having me on to talk about a total plot twist shocker in an RPG, and the one I've chosen is from Xenoblade Chronicles, which, obviously, <laughs> oh, I've played them, I've played on both, but I beat it on the Switch, so, uh, it was just a tad easier. But anyway, let's get into the plot twist, and, okay, obviously spoilers, but for me, it was the moment that you found out Fiora is not dead. And I was literally like, no, like I was so shocked when she came back and not only was she not dead, she was like a mech on, she was like a, you know, half mech, like it was all messed up. And I was like, this is okay. Now I'm into this game because when that game started getting weird and twisted, I just absolutely loved it. But definitely, you know, right away in like the first few moments of the game, she is, she gets, you know, she's dead. And then you're playing quite far in and then all of a sudden it's like Fiora she's not dead and I was really shocked by that that was definitely a really fun plot twist for her to come back and kind of become herself again and super super cool I absolutely loved it great and obviously if you've never played this game it is very much worth your time it's an incredible experience and I will say that out of all the JRPGs I've played Xenoblade Chronicles is awesome for it being very heavy on shocking moments and it's in chapters and I swear there was like a shocking moment at the end of every chapter at one point and it was like it just kept going like an, like an amazing TV show it kept going and going and I thought oh my god like like no way no way like constantly do yourself a favor play Xenoblade Chronicles however you play it it's a wonderful experience it really is great and I assume you've probably played it because I just ruined a lot for you, but that doesn't matter. Play it anyway. It's great. And uh, come check out my channel. And I'm excited to see what everybody else put on this list because there are so many shocking moments in RPGs. It's insane. What's going on, guys? My name's Rad Bash, and special shout out to Inferno Fox for having me back on the channel. And this time we're supposed to talk about RPG plot twists. So I had to go with when you find out in Kingdom Hearts 1 that Kyrie was with you the whole time, so your search was absolutely pointless. In Kingdom Hearts 1, you play as Sora, who sets out on a quest with Donald and Goofy from Disney to find your friends Riku and Kyrie. Now as you go, you see Riku quite a bit and quite often, um, but you don't ever really see Kyrie. You have like these moments where you think she's there, or you think you see her, and she'll kind of just like vanish, and it never quite makes sense to, you, I understand like the suspense of, well, is she there? Is she not there? You know, sort of seeing things. Why is Kyrie hiding? And it turns out that Kyrie and your, and Sora's heart are one now inside of Sora's body because in the very beginning you see her get pushed into Sora and you don't quite know what happened, but that's what happened. Your hearts mix, they become one. And it really caught me off guard because you, you really think she's, you know, avoiding you or hiding or there's something wrong. And in reality, you're just one. And at the very end of the game, you find that out. And in order for them to split, Sora has to become heartless. It's a whole thing. Um, and it just, as a kid, I guess it really was a plot twist that I didn't see coming that, you know, oh, hey, look at that. She was there the whole time. Thanks again for having me on Fox down below. What's a plot twist you know? I'm excited to see everybody else's picks. And like always, guys, stay radical.
Hey friends, it's Brandon from Just the Gems. Thanks so much to Inferno Fox for having me on to talk about the most mind-blowing plot twist I ever experienced in a video game. Now, I'd been playing JRPGs for a few years at the point that Chrono Trigger came out. I'd seen some things, let me tell you. Characters going through traumatic experiences, suffering loss, even dying. It was a lot for a teenager to take in. When I played Chrono Trigger and started devouring its bright and cheery vibes, I did not expect any heart-wrenching trauma to be on the menu. What am I talking about? None other than the biggest twist in a JRPG to date, the death of the main character, Chrono. And not like at the end of the game, just before the credits roll, I mean like two thirds of the way through the game. Chrono heroically steps up to defend his friends against a godlike evil and finds himself vaporized. And then the game just continues. The rest of the cast are devastated, in shock, and some of them are in straight up denial. And to be honest, at the time, I was too. This came so out of left field. Fortunately though, it's not the end for Chrono. Or at least it doesn't have to be. You're presented with an opportunity, a risky plan, but one definitely worth pursuing. Using a special device, the Chrono Trigger, you could potentially bring Chrono back. But in order to pull it off, you need a Chrono Clono. A Chrono Clone. That sounded funnier in my head. Anyway, take the Chrono Clone doll thing to the top of a terrifyingly dangerous mountain, use the Chrono Trigger, and voila! Chrono's back and ready to save the day with everyone else. The best thing about this whole scenario is that it's optional. Like, you can bypass all of that and just continue on with the game, beat the final boss, and still feel a sense of satisfaction. The fact that the dang game's namesake is part of an optional side quest is nuts but it tells you how important this quest is to experience the story in its fullest. I don't think any game's twists have impressed me as much as this classic, but I mean, it's hard to beat Chrono Trigger in general. It's a masterpiece. Hi everyone, my name is Alex, aka Quality, and thank you so much to Inferno Fox Gaming for having me on for this collab. So my pick for my favorite or most shocking JRPG plot twist is from a game I played pretty recently that took me for a completely unexpected ride, and that is Harvest Stella. When I initially saw the trailers for Harvest Stella, I was anticipating a Rune Factory-like RPG farming sim with a unique gimmick, the addition of the fifth season and the season of death, Quietus. Not knowing where Quietus came from, or really where our protagonist came from, our initial plot and goal is set up from the get-go. Stop Quietus and find out who the heck we are. As the game progressed, I very quickly realized my assumptions of this game were horrendously wrong. While still a farming RPG, the depth of this story is immense. We spend most of the early game believing that the world of most of our characters is separate from our own in the real world. However, they are intrinsically linked. As you explore the various dungeons, relics from our world, yes, our world, appear giving clues about what this world is and what happened to the world that we know. Further revelation is given from Arya, the mysterious girl who we assume is a time traveler. It turns out Arya is actually a human from the original Earth, aka a cane, whereas our protagonist and the rest of our party are from Regaia, being Abel's, a second world based on Earth. Regaia is actually the result of the Paradise Project, an initiative to create a suitable alternative for Earth post its destruction for the canes. However, new life began on Regaia, creating the Abel's, who are nearly identical to the canes in every way, while the canes lay asleep in the orbital cradle right above Regaia. Due to limited resources and the continuing threat of Quietus, only one race of people can survive. While this was certainly not the overarching plot I expected from a farming sim, this isn't even the full plot twist. An impossible choice has to be made between the Abels and the Canes that only our still mysterious protagonist can decide. While we solve the mystery of Quietus, as well as the mystery of our two worlds, our courageous protagonist continues to be a mystery to the player, and we can only take the fact that our character is just a random Abel at face value. In the true ending of the game, we discover that our character is actually the soul of a cane whose body is still in stasis that was linked to the deceased body of an Abel in order to have a place in both worlds and be able to make this decision without bias. This entire game completely subverted my expectations, and I've barely even scratched the surface of what this game has to offer, so I highly recommend it. If you have not played Harvest Stella, because not enough people have, give it a go and discover what other crazy mysteries there are in this game, because there are a lot and it will throw you for a loop. Those were some excellent plot twists for some really great games. For me, I'm going to focus on what I know best, Final Fantasy. Some of my favorite plot twists from the series are familial in nature, such as Cecil and Bart's lineage being revealed in the fourth and fifth entries. I also like the ones related to the floating continents of the third and sixth entries. Its mere existence in the former and its world-ending nature in the latter were pretty remarkable. 
and oh my goodness, there were so many of these plot twists in the 10th entry, but they often felt true to the strength of the overall story and its characters for that game. But I'm going to have to go with my choice of Final Fantasy VII. And no, not Aerith's death. That was a shocking moment for the game, to be sure, and one full of sadness. But the series and Squaresoft in general have touched upon the concept of death in their games before. The plot twist I'm thinking of literally had me gasp in surprise and excitement the first time that I played through Final Fantasy VII. And it is the moment that Cloud takes off his helmet in the Nibelheim flashback when Tifa is in Cloud's consciousness while they're both immersed in the life stream. Cloud had been proven to be the unreliable narrator as the main protagonist prior to this point. This is evidenced by his original telling of the Nibelheim flashback back at the village of Calm. But these memories, influenced by Genova's cells, placed him in Zack's shoes instead of those he belonged, that of one of the two faceless troopers that went with Zack and Sephiroth to Nibelheim. His true memory revealed Cloud fulfilling his pre-teen nighttime promise to Tifa by coming to her rescue and saving her from Sephiroth. In doing so, we see Cloud become the true hero that he is, one that strays from the co conflicted or even corrupted individual we had seen up to that point in the game. And knowing that he had beaten Sephiroth before, as well as truly who he is, he can rise to the challenge of beating Sephiroth again and save the planet. I hope you enjoyed all of us discussing what we felt were the most shocking plot twists in some of our favorite RPGs. Let us know what you thought of these, but also tell us the most shocking plot twist you've experienced in an RPG. And if you can, please follow the same rule that we did, nothing less than a year old. But, but that being said, if you do review the comments section, gentle reminder that the spoiler warning should apply towards these comments as well. You review the comments section, be ready for these spoilers to hit you. Make sure also to check out each of the content creators YouTube channels that are linked in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.